Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Well, it has come to the end of another month, which means the end of the month videos. Just recorded my coloring book haul for the month of November. Now we have the what I colored in the month of November. So, I when I started getting my pile of books together of everything I colored, I was amazed at what I all colored this month. So let's get on with it. Now it wouldn't be a month without coloring something from Sun Life Drawing. <laughs> One night I just was really frazzled, just wanted to color something super simple and easy. And this is a cute little Pikachu. I almost have this book completed, so I do want to go through, um, finish the, I don't know, Really, I have no idea how many I have left in here. All of the lines pictures in here, because this is lines and dots. All the lines pictures are done already, because those are my favorites. I have just a handful of other pictures to do in here, which are the dots. So, got that done. And it also wouldn't be a month without me coloring at least one, if not more, from David Hinkin Jr.'s books. Uh, these are the geometric patterns. This one is volume 17, and I did not flag it. What the heck was it? I can't remember. I don't think it was that one. What in the world? Oh, it might have been this one. And it is, of course, with glitter gel pen. Now, I am always asked, <laughs> just about every month, uh, do you have a link to that book or what was that book or whatever? So every month I always leave links to all of the books that I've colored from down in the description below. These are all Amazon affiliate links um, so that if you want to purchase one of these books yourself, all the links are down below in the description. Okay, it was Camellia Angelkova month. Um, color along between myself and Kate from Kate's Coloring Haven. So I have quite a few of Camellia Angelkova pictures that I have colored. And this one is from 50 Autumn Mandalas. Colored this one on camera for a color and chat. Hello Autumn. Well, Autumn has come and passed here in Wisconsin. We are in the second round of a snowstorm, uh, supposed to get dumped on again tonight and tomorrow. <laughs> I'll go into that in my next color chat. This is from 50 Spiral Mandalas. And I believe we also did this one on camera. Loved how this one turned out. Like the color scheme in that. Yes, we did do this one on camera now that I think of it. Okay, this one I did on my own. Um, this is Easy Flowers and Simple Butterflies. Again, another night where I just wanted to color something super duper easy. Ooh, didn't take long to do that. <laughs> this book I mainly wanted, I, I bought a couple of her real simple uh, easy books because I thought it'd be great to uh, work with my Camellia, Camellia, <laughs> Chameleon markers. But yeah, again, I just wanted something to straight color. <laughs> then we have the Celtic inspired mandalas. And I did uh, this one. I like how this turned out. I was debating whether to do the uh, black background or not. Maybe I should zoom in a little bit. I have my phone a little ways farther away than normal. Um, and yeah, I was really debating whether I wanted to do a black background. Um, but I kind of like it now because it really makes the colors pop. Especially the yellow. Then I didn't know if I should do the black background out here too. But I think it kind of ties it all together. So I do like how that one turned out. Then out of... 101 unique mandalas and this is a very thick book we did one together in here and that is this one again with glitter gel pens 
love the colors that I kind of just threw together in this particular mandala. Um, and yeah, I thought it turned out very nice. And then for the last, no, let's go to this one first. The flower mandalas. Just finished this one today. And again, uh, kind of threw some colors together. Wasn't real sure how it was going to turn out. And again, this is with my glitter gel pens. And I ended up loving how it turned out. Wasn't sure about using that lime green in there with the uh, pink, uh, blue, and purple. But I do like how that went together. So, yep, like how that one turned out. And then for the last color in chat for the month for Camellia Angelkova month. We colored one from Mandalas for Relaxation and Meditation. There's a part one and two out there. And I had a request to work with my, to color with my Limoche markers. And so we colored this one with the Limoche markers. And it turned out pretty. Okay, so that was all the Camellia Angelkova. Now, <laughs> for the rest of the month, I went crazy with all of my mosaic books. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Every chance that I got, I was coloring out of my mosaic coloring books. And ever since I learned or I got this tip from Bilba Company, Bilba Family, um, of how to color these squares rather than coloring them all in and you just color them in with X's. I've just been going crazy with all of my mosaic books that have squares. <laughs> so I colored one out of the cat square mosaics coloring book using the X method so that they look like counted cross stitch or cross stitch pictures. And this is how this one turned out and I thought it turned out really cute. And oh, we had a second one, that's right. And I'm not sure why they went with this um, pale lavender color. I'm not sure if I really like how this one turned out. Um, but that these are the colors that they had indicated. So I did it the way they had it indicated. <laughs> So those are the two cat pictures. Then I also have bird square mosaics. I colored two out of each one of these. Um, so the first bird. Now this one I had a really hard time seeing and making out as I was coloring it. But it ended up being an eagle. <laughs> Took me a while to realize what kind of bird this was. So, we also in here did the next one. Now, did this one go this way or this way? No, it goes this way. Again, it was really hard for me to kind of figure out what the heck this was. And yeah, I could finally see that it was, and I'm not sure if it's actually a toucan. Uh, no, it wasn't a toucan. I can't remember. I had looked it up. Now I can't remember the name of it. I'm sure you guys know. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah, that was that one. <laughs> and then the last in this particular series is the dog square mosaics. Did this pretty husky. Loved how this one turned out. And yes, takes a while to do backgrounds <laughs> when they have a background that's colored in like this um, and yeah it gets a little tedious after a while and that's why I would do some of the squares then I do some of the picture do some of the background do some of the picture so I would just alternate and before you know it you got the background done so again it's some mindless coloring you don't have to think about <laughs> And then this cutie pie. Love how this little person, person, loved how this little gal or guy turned out. So cute. 
So yeah, as you can see, I am going crazy with coloring with the X's. I just love it, love it, love it. Now, I wanted to do some playing around with, would that X method work with other shapes? Because I have a lot of uh, circle mosaic books and I'm like, hmm, would X's work in circles also? And then I do also have some um, hexagon, not hexagon, uh, where are they? Some, yes, hexagon. Okay, I was right. Hexagon um, mosaic coloring books. So I'm thinking, hmm, will it work with circles and hexagons too with the X's? Because I'm just having so much fun with that. So did some playing around and it does work. Let me, let me zoom you in. While it does work, um, I think for circles that this is the one shape that I think I do prefer actually coloring in. Now this one is out of the mandala circles and I do like it. I like how it turned out, but then I did the next one coloring it in completely rather than the X's and it is just much more vi vibrant. Now it could also be that I like this mandala more. I don't know. They're very similar. Um, but yeah, for the circles, I am in the future going to always be coloring the circle in completely rather than the X method. <coughs> Excuse me. Now for the hexagon, however, I thought, mm, let's try the X method in the hexagon books. This one is Fantasy Dragons. And the X method works really, really good in here. Look at this cute little thing. Let's zoom out a little bit more so you can see the whole book. And uh, yeah, just sporadic gray in the background. And then X's for in the hexagons. Now, the shape of the X's, let me zoom you way in. The shape of the X's in the hexagons are a little bit different than the absolute, you know, I don't know how to say it. When you have a square and you go from, you know, corner to corner, that type of X is a little bit different than the shape in a hexagon when you go from one corner to one corner. Um, because, of course, a hexagon shape's a little bit different than a square. But I think overall, I like using the X cross method um, on the hexagons also. And I thought, he just turned out adorable. So I had to try it one more time in another hexagon book that I have. This one is called Animal Wonders. So I did the first one in the book and it turned out to be this pretty peacock. So yeah, this again is with all X's in the hexagon shapes. So yeah, I will be using the X method in all of my hexagon uh, mosaic books also. So I had to get, um, let's see, let's go through the other ones before I get to the Christmas one. Um, here is the Circle Mosaics. This is Animals Collection Volume 4. Just finished this one today also. And I'll tell you, <laughs> because of all the right colors in this particular book. Now I'm assuming from the front cover, I didn't think they were going to be this way because you could pick out this horse really easy and it had realistic colors for the most part in this picture. I don't know if all of the pictures are going to be super colorful like this one, but it took me a long time to realize that this is a lion. <laughs> At first, for the longest time, I'm like, I have no idea what I am coloring. And I thought I was going to be I remember doing this once before in uh, when I showed what I all colored for the month and I'm like, I have no idea what this is. And then you guys let me know what you thought it was. Thought I was gonna have to do that for this picture too, but I finally did realize that it is a lion. So I wanna do another one 
um, the next one out of this book and just see if it's going to be all brightly colored like this or if it's going to in fact be a little bit more realistic like the cover. I don't mind doing those brightly colored ones. I think they're really pretty but it's just like I said it was really really hard to figure out what it was so I'm hoping some more of them in here will be a little bit more realistic colored. Um, picked out another one that uh, was squares and this is um, emojis so I did the first one out of this book. Ain't he cute? <laughs> Maddie, my granddaughter, got a kick out of this one. <laughs> she had to point out his eyes and his eyebrows and his cheeks and his tongue. <laughs> it was so cute. <laughs> this is another one that, yes, there is um, a lot of green in the background. And I don't like the fact you could see up here that I did X's coming down. You can kind of see a line there when I did it that way. And, you know, I should have just continued going all the way across or at least staggered it and not went down and had a cutoff of a line because now you can see that. But, yeah, not that big of a deal, right? Okay, so that was that one. Then the last mosaic book that I did out of these series, I did have to do a Christmas one. This, uh, I have, I think, four of these now, maybe three of these uh, Christmas ones, and they are larger circles. So I do not do, and plus I figured out I don't like the X method anyhow in the circles, um, but I did use, ah, can't remember now. Alcohol marker for this. Hmm. No, I can't remember. Um, but because it was larger circles, it worked really well and went really fast. There are 24 colors. So I did not use my Artezas in here. Like I use my Arteza twine markers for all of these that I use the X's. Um, yeah, I use my Arteza toy markers for all of them and they work so perfect with that ultra fine tip, um, opposite of the brush tip. But this one I did use alcohol markers in. So here then are my Belba family, uh, books. This is their brand new one. Um, and Belva Family is the one that started it all for me with coloring with the X's. And I did the first mandala out of the book. And it is uh, this one. I love how this one turned out. And I am starting this one. I just did a video uh, review of this one, this particular book. And then I also, in that review, flip through of this book, I showed how I actually go about coloring with the X's because I had a couple of questions about well how do you actually go about doing it so I uh, kind of did a demo in my flip through video of this particular book and then yeah I am loving these Belba family books so this is the one called Woman and I did do a review I flipped through of this book um, this past month and I colored a few using that X method again. Love this book. I just, I love how these pictures turned out. This I think is my favorite so far. But then I also colored this one of the man and the woman dancing with masks on. So I love how that one turned out too. And then this one, this was my most recent one out of this book. And again, love, love, love how this one turned out. So I'm going to be coloring out of this book more this, this next month of December, along with some uh, Christmas pictures, of course. Um, but I'm sure I'm going to be coloring out of this one too. Then another one of Belba Family's books. This is one of their more recent books. This one's called Christmas and Travel Mosaics. This is a color by number book, but it is not the little squares. And I colored this one. 
Now again, colored this with twine markers and for this particular book, again, twine markers worked so perfectly because I could use the larger brush tip end, although I shouldn't say larger because it is a very fine brush tip. So it worked really great for this picture. I, I said larger because the opposite side, the opposite end is that very, very fine uh, fine liner, very fine tipped fine liner, and that worked great in these teeny tiny little areas. Um, so yeah, again, the toy mark Arteza toy markers worked perfect in this particular book too. Let me take out my little tabby. Then, also from Bill the family, this is their dogs. Book and I colored a couple out of here. This particular one was before I learned about the X method of coloring these squares. So colored this guy. Then I colored one with the X's and I don't know why I put the tab way over there. Absolutely loved how this one turned out. This adorable little Yorkie. Yorkie that Sotini would fit in the suitcase. <laughs> there are a lot of people that do carry their little doggies in their purses. You know how they carry them along in their in their little uh, carriers. Looks like little purse dogs, right? Then out of passion, I colored a lot of pictures out of here. I have four tabs up here. <laughs> so. I colored this one. Cute lady sitting here on this bench with her, I think it's a dog. <laughs> so loved how that one turned out. This I think is my favorite though. Love how these flowers turned out with this window brick wall. Love it, love it. Then I did this one. Again, this was before I learned the X method. I think the X's would have looked, I don't know, I think it would have looked so much better in here than coloring this in solid. Uh, you know, when you have this big background, of course, coloring it in solid goes much faster than doing each, you know, square with an X in it. But when you color this in with um, water-based markers, you do get this um, streaking. And so there was a lot of streaking in this particular picture. That doesn't bother a lot of people, and that's great. For me, it's kind of eh, kind of bothers me a little. But I still like how this turned out. Uh, I love all the shading, the colors in that horse. So, yeah. Then I did do one though, again, with the X's. And again, love, love how this one turned out. There are so many different types of pictures in this book, all related back to passion, whether it be your passion of dancing, that horse riding, um, or whether it be passion between a man and a woman. It's kind of all in this particular book. So yeah, love this one too. Belba family has so many cool books out there. So yeah, colored a lot out of theirs and I can foresee me doing that again <laughs> in uh, the month of December along with, you know, starting all the Christmas pictures. So yeah, I actually got through quite a few pictures for the month of November. Yep, every morning and every evening um, before babysitting and after I'm done babysitting. This is my way of relaxing after a long, stressful day of the grandkids. <laughs> love, love, love them to pieces. And I am so lucky um, on the one hand to be able to babysit them and help 
eh, I guess, raise them, I guess, in a sense, but be able to see them grow, um, you know, do learn things with them. I seen Levi roll over for the first time, you know, all those kind of little milestones. So while I am extremely, extremely lucky on the one hand, on the other hand, it does get to be <laughs> some long days when you do, you know, babysit for like 10 hours every day. Um, so I do need, need my relaxation at night. As you can tell, I get it <laughs> while I am watching, either watching TV or a lot of times I am catching up on watching my YouTube videos of my, not my YouTube videos, of the YouTube videos of my uh, fellow uh, color tubers that I like to watch or diamond painting uh, videos. So yeah, I like to color while I am I guess not actually watching the videos. I am more listening to the videos. So um, love the color and chats. That's my, that's my main thing that I like to uh, to listen to as I'm coloring. But I do love the end of the month videos like this where everybody shows what they colored during the month. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and seeing what I all colored for the month of November and if you did please hit that like button and hit the notification bell so you know when I put out new content and subscribe if you are new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day and as always happy coloring. Bye guys.